What's going on guys? It's Colin Hunter and Chris again from the darts department here at Josh's Frogs. We're super excited to uh, share with you guys uh, some of our breeder rooms today. And uh, the point of the video today is we have a 20% sale on all dart frogs this Memorial Day weekend. And that actually extends all the way to next Wednesday. Um, so without further ado, we're going to show you uh, some adults of the frogs that um, if you buy some of our dart frogs, they will grow in, into these uh, full-size adults. So we are in Hunter's room right now is where we're going to start. And I'll give it to Hunter here and he'll show us some of his uh, adult dart frogs here. We're going to start with some of everyone's favorite tinctorias. We've got a cobalt up on this wall right here. The first feature of the sale. I, don't, I really love the cobalt as tinctorias because they're a frog that has a little bit of every color on them. They're like big and bold. I don't know, I like that you get a little bit of everything with them. There's a lot of variation in the patterns here. There's like bigger splotches, you've got more color. I like how it goes from like warm on the head, you got like the orange crests on the eyes, and then you move on down through and it kind of turns to green to yellow. And finally with those like dark blue cobalt legs that they're known for that gives them the rest of their color. But if you're not really into Tinctorius, then we've got a couple other varieties. All dark frogs are on sale, all of them. And over here we have some mint terabilis. The mints are the biggest of the terabilis morphs. They're all like relatively the same size, but like the mints just tend to be a little bit bigger on average. These are the most toxic frogs in the world, but not in captive bred. Only wild caught, only the wild ones are due to the, their natural diet. And then we've got a couple green sips. We've got some green sips over on this side. If you're a little more into just having more, a little more blue and green in your life, we've got all of these guys here. They're really nice. They're all, they're not shy. They love to come on out. We just, it, I just fed them like 10 minutes ago. So they're all just kind of getting the last couple flies that are out and about. So now we are in my new room and setup. This is the erratus area. Um, so this is where we keep all of our dendrobates erratus. Um, on this wall right here, we've got some people out and looking. They got fed yesterday, but we have mostly all Costa Ricans here. Here's some of my, my females sitting there and, you know, getting nice up and close to the glass. We've got a lot of the erratus have that green and black coloration. They tend to be a little bit more skittish because they are one of the smaller dart frogs. However, once they're in a tank and they get set up, they've been there for a little while. You can see there's a new tank here and everybody's kind of hiding. They're in the back there a little bit. But once they get set up into a tank, they get used to you. They really, really warm up. In fact, now when I open up any of my tanks or anything, they come right up to the front because they're expecting food. Um, we have more Costa Ricans over on this side. We have some of our blue and blacks up top. And then a couple of one-off tanks. We've got some Ancon Hills here, which are way up there. We can't see them. And then also some of my personal favorites. These are the Capraganas. Those are the Colombian yellows. Uh, and we are working on getting those guys back out to everyone. Um, back on this wall where Hunter is here, we are switching a little bit away from the green and black into that blue and brown. We're going to start seeing some of my El Cope tanks coming up. And so again, we've got normally two to four frogs in each tank, but they've got that really, really nice blue to teal color. And again, a little skittish when they first get into the tank, but then they warm right up to you and get, uh, get quite, quite friendly. Um, and then I guess just to round it out, we can see if we've got anybody poking out here. We have some of our Pina Blancas, which are one of my personal favorites. Getting that really, really nice white uh, coloration on top with the brown to dark blue undertones. Uh, they are a really, really fun, fun frog that you can watch kind of develop their color as they age. Because when you get them as froglets from us, they're going to be almost kind of purple to a dark brown. And then they'll start getting in that coloration as they age about a year or so. And so... Yeah, and again, all of our dart frogs are going to be 20% off, and so that means all of Aratus, and I'd love to see everybody get some. All right, guys, so lastly, I'm going to be taking you through Frogtopia, and the one of the main inhabitants of Frogtopia is the poster child of dart frogs, Dendrobates tinctorius azurius. These are the blue poison dart frogs. If you've seen poison dart frogs in your life, you've probably seen this one before. A lot of these ones down here are some of my newer tanks. These are the Watley Azurius. We don't have these currently, but are working on having these in stock on a regular basis here in the future. Um, so all dart frogs, 20% off. So that does include regular Azurius dart frogs. All these guys are just like Hunter's frogs. We just fed today. So they're all looking for bugs, having a great time. Cool thing about dart frogs is they're active during the daytime. A lot of times you get frog species, they're nocturnal and they'll be hiding almost all day while you're active. Cool thing about a dart frog, you put it on your desk at work or 
can work from home. You'll be able to watch them be active while you're active as well. My second favorite dark frog that I have over here is Dendro Babies Tinctorius Citronella. So these are yellow guys. I kind of call them the University of Michigan frog because they look like those colors. That's the school I attended. All these guys are also eating their food. Then we also have some Alapadu cobalts in my section. Hunter showed you some other cobalts. These are, guys are a different locale of those. And then over here, we have some more Tinctorius. Frogtopia belongs to the Tinctorius species. And so these are some of our powder blues, very common in the hobby. And then on the other side, we have Patricias. We just got done reorganizing all our rooms so that all of our species and morphs are together, all nice and visible to the eye. Turning things back a little more on the yellow side, we've got some Nikita up here. These guys are pretty similar to Citronella. They're often kind of the sister morph. They're from the same general area, but they've got a little more pattern variation. Some lean a little green. But if you're really more of like a true yellow kind of person, then we have Lucamellas as well on the sale. Can't forget about the Bumblebee Darks, everyone's favorite. Over here, oh, our fine Lukes are feeling a little shy today, but that's okay. We can come over here. We've got some Gian some Gianna Lukes down in here. These are actually some new frogs that we've gotten a little more recently. So if you haven't seen any listed, keep your eyes peeled for Gianna Lukes. And there'll be, there's another great member of the sale we've got going on. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the frog rooms today. Again, I want to remind you guys that this Memorial Day weekend, all the way through next Wednesday, we have 20% off all dart frogs here at Josh's Frog. So head on over to joshesfrogs.com and fall in love with your own morph of dart frog and add a frog to your life. Thank you guys for joining us today. This was Colin, Hunter, and Chris, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend.